the system is off. So plug your airline brakes. If I just green light or the brake, just shut it off. Now when you shut it off, your signal here early, can you think why is it not stopping? to explain how the Meritor tire inflation system works in this video. I'm going to use one of my tanker trailers because it's really easy for me to crawl under there. But if you have a dry van, a flatbed, a reefer, a whatever, they're all the same system. So you can know that these principles apply to you as well. First thing that I want to point out is tire inflation systems do not mean that you don't ever have to worry about your tires. They are systems that can fail. So please don't just assume that you never have to check your tires anymore because you have a system. No, these are a backup to help you just in case, but you still need to check things. Okay, so again, this is the Meritor PSI system. If you have a Hendrickson, it's pretty much exactly the same thing, but we do have a video for the Hendrickson system as well. You can check that out if you really want to. First thing we're gonna talk about, the white light, what does it mean? Now this one's mounted on the fender, on a dry van, it's probably up on the front of the trailer. It can be mounted wherever your mechanics put it or the factory put it. The white light means that the tire inflation system is pushing air into your tires. So why is that important to you? Well, let's say you just hooked up to a trailer and this white light comes on. It means that one of the tires maybe has a slow leak because it's having to air it up before you take off. Or what if you've been driving down the road for a while and this light's been off, but then it comes on as you're driving? Well, maybe you just picked up a nail and the system is putting air into a tire. The white light means, hey, you might need to look for a leak somewhere. Okay, it's a, a helpful hint for you to have. Next thing to know is when you do hook up to a trailer, this has to get, excuse me, to 100 PSI before it will start airing up tires. So if you just hooked up to a trailer and you're wondering why it's not pumping air in there yet, well, make sure your air gauges are at least 100 PSI because it's not going to take that air until you've got at least that much. Next thing, let's talk a little bit about these airlines. So these airlines, this is how it gets air. It comes through the hub and into your tire. These lines can go bad, just FYI. If you have to get a tire done over the road, then when you tighten this back up, just finger tight. These have O-rings in there. You don't need to crank on them really hard. Just get them to finger tight and you'll be fine. Another thing to know about it is if you ever wanted to double check your system, because like I said, they're not perfect and it's a good idea once in a while to check in this, you can take this off the hub. And once you take this off here, spin this off here, there is a little stem and you can stick your tire gauge right on it and take the air pressure of your tire. It'll tell you how much air is in the tire and then screw it back on. That'll give you an idea of how much air is in the system overall. Next thing I wanna cover, what if something happens? Like what if this airline gets broken? Or what if one of the airlines going to your axles under here gets broken and you've got a bad air leak? Simple fix, you can turn off the system with this valve. This yellow valve is very important. I often have to try and tell people how to find this. When the valve is on and is parallel, it's on. When it's like this, perpendicular, the system is off. So if one of your airlines breaks, if like this green line were to break, just shut it off. Now when you shut it off, you're still gonna hear air leaking and you're thinking, wait a minute, why is it not stopping? That's because your axles are full of a whole bunch of 100 PSI air. It's gonna take a minute, so give us some time. If you get a blowout, I often have guys say, hey, I blew out my tire, now I have an air leak. Well, probably it's because the air system's trying to push air into your tire, which has a huge hole in it. Just come and shut this off, okay? Yellow valve, very important there. I'm not gonna show you how to set the pressures and all that. That's something that, you know, let the mechanics handle that. But that's how the tire inflation system works. It's a great help for us as truck drivers. And I hope this also helps you understand how to use the system and better understand it. Well, I hope you found this video really helpful. If you want to, click right down in here. This is the subscribe button. That'll give you more of our helpful videos. And then after that, come over here and click here for more of our videos. Remember, truck drivers are American heroes. Let's make truck drivers great again and keep on trucking.